What's going on you guys? It is The Talking Sasquatch and today we're going to be taking a look at a really, really cool gadget. Now, as most of you know, I actually recently partnered with PCBWay, and I've been looking through their website, checking out all the cool products and services they have, and I realized that they actually had part of the store that I never even knew existed. Now, under a very unsuspecting tab called Module Store, that opens up an entire new store full of products, tools, all sorts of great stuff. That's where I stumbled upon the RGB Glow Tube DIY clock. It's super cool, and for $49.99 plus shipping, it's absolutely a no-brainer. So I had them send one over, and I'm going to be doing an unboxing and review of this thing. It's so cool, I can't wait. All right, so that's enough of an introduction. Let's get right into it. So it came in, it's got its outer packaging right here, and yeah, pretty cool, I have no idea what that says, but let's throw one of the top down camera and uh, crack this thing open. All right, so here we go. Let's open it up. Whoops. Eh. One side. Okay. Whoops. I want to break my raspberry pie for my Arduino. Ah, here we go. Brilliant. All right, so let's pop this guy open. Yeah. There we go. Got some key descriptions. This kind of, I guess, goes through the workflow of it. It's got a couple languages, the usual stuff. And, ooh, here we are. Awesome, let's turn it around. Smash into all the stuff on my desk. But look at this. All right, let's see if we can't get a little bit better look at that. Now we have right here, we know what that is. That is an ESP32 room. Pretty cool chip right there, and that powers the whole clock. All of these are where the individual IPS screens plug in. Then we have mode and some arrow keys and a power button. On the side here, we have USB-C, which is C stands for USB King. It's the best USB of all time. So that's really, really cool. And then we have our globes up here. So let's start pulling stuff out of here and we can start assembling. So let's see if we can scooch this down a little bit. Place this right here. And then we can pull this out. These are our globes, so let's put these right over here. And now let's get underneath this and see what else is down here. Okay, cool. So we have a USB charging brick, put you here. Uh, Allen wrench, if you want to take the whole thing apart, over there. A actually really nice USB-C cable, um, 90 degree bend, it's braided. It's actually a really, really nice cable. Um, kind of impressed by that. And then these must be all of the screens. So these are gonna get plugged in. So we'll take those out. I think that's the rest of the box. Really nice box, honestly. But, and here are the rest of these. All right, so now we've got a little bit of a different angle so we can see what's going on a little bit easier, but let's start plugging our screens in. It's pretty simple. They just plug straight in. Of course, the ever so satisfying screen pulse. Pull the films off, oh no, there we go. Done. And all we gotta do is pop the globes on. Super easy, nothing particularly hard about any of this process. They did such a nice job engineering and building this whole thing. I'm amazed it's 50 bucks. It's fantastic. You can buy these on Amazon, by the way, for like 190, so it's an absolute steal. There we go, let's get it plugged in, we take a look. All right, got our USB cable right there, and give it a little plug in over here. Whoops, I missed. Boom, here we are. Oh, it's so cool. RGB in the background. Um, let me fiddle around with my camera settings real quick, see if I can get you a better visual. Oh, quick little fiddling with exposure. Now we can kind of see what's going on. It's super cool. You've got the IPS displays looking like Nixie tubes. Really cool. We can go into the options here and I've already just set the time on it, but you can actually change the style right on the uh, clock itself. So, boom, boom, boom. Those come pre-installed, so that's pretty cool. Let's check out the other one while we're in here. The punk style. Yeah, that one's pretty fun. I like the original, that's okay. And then you can also change the RGB mode. So right now, you turn it on or off. You can change how bright it is. You can also change the settings. You can set every single bulb the same. You can actually set the single um, 
each tube's RGB. You can make it a rainbow mode, which is what it's doing right now. Chasing is actually my favorite, so it kind of goes through all of them. Uh, a breathing mode where, you know, it does breathing. I'll show you that one. Oops, it's doing it. So it just kind of breathes colors on and off. But my favorite is chasing mode. And speed, you can change the speed, how fast it rotates. Whoops, let's go back to speed. That's pretty cool. We'll leave it there. We go back. Obviously, you can set how bright everything is. I'm going to leave it at 100 because max brightness is where I'm at. 100%. But yeah, it's really, really cool. I love this thing. I'm going to show you actually how on using the PC, you can customize even further from here. So let's hop up there. So if we look right here on the product page and scroll down, right at the bottom here, it shows all the different styles and stuff that are available. And you can even change backgrounds and then add the keys over the top or the numbers over the top, which is really cool. It gives you the software path. So you can just go ahead and download it here and we will unzip that right now. So here is our file. We're going to unzip, extract all, extract. And we're done. Close the original zip file. And one thing that I did realize when I was working with this the first time is that you actually have to get rid of the, um, the Chinese characters at the end. If you don't, it has some problems with the way the driver installation goes. So you just go to install the driver, click yes, and that will go, no problem, just click install. And yeah, if you hadn't renamed the folder, it fails right now because Windows gets mad about it. Drivers install successful, we can close that. Now that we have the driver install, we can just load up this fun little program. We're gonna run it anyway. We do this all the time, we're professionals. So this lets you install any of these custom images right here. You can go through all of these. So it's pretty cool. Just click refresh to see the clock right there. And then we're gonna upload image from here. Well, I made something a little bit special. I figured out that if you just place some custom images into the image file, and then just go to compile custom picture, and then when that's done, go to upload. It'll upload the files that are in your custom folder. So we'll give this a second to finish and we'll see what happens. Mark that landmine, soldier. Uh, we'll be right back. And we're done. Okay, here we are. I've got some custom images. So all we have to do is go to set style. And now we can see a new option over here and DIY. Oh, heck yeah, here we go. Let's see if we can set our exposure down a little further. Get an idea what this looks like. But yeah, oh, there we go, that's sick. Yeah, we got our own little talking Sasquatch font on there, super cool. You can set this up to do whatever you want. This is just a font that I made, but I think it looks super cool. And yeah, we got the uh, RGB in the background. You can't tell really well with the uh, my lighting, but yeah, this thing is so cool. All right, and that's the DIY IPS Nixie clock. This thing is so cool. I absolutely love it. The uh, RGB in the back, you can see it better from this. So it actually does have a really cool ambient. I mean, it's really, really cool. I love this thing. Thank you so much to PCBWay. Check them out down below. They've got all sorts of cool stuff. I really appreciate you sending me this out to look at. I've got a lot more cool projects to do, which are going to use some of their other services. So look forward to those in the future. Thanks a lot for watching, and we're going to catch you next time.